Broadway Barks. We have about 150 dogs here that we're hoping to find homes for. We have all sorts of fun dog outfits and capes and things that um, you can buy for your favorite furry friend and these guys are just showing them off. My name is Lily. I got her about a year and a half ago from the Humane Society on 59th Street and 2nd Avenue. She was trained by Bill, one of the famous Broadway trainer dogs who does all the training. And that's how we all met. She came from the Humane Society about a year and a half ago. Yeah. What's going on, buddy? Hey. We are ducting out dogs and cats to New York City and all of the visitors here at Broadway Barks. Most of the prominent, well-known New York City organizations, Animal Care and Control, ASPCA, and a lot of smaller rescue groups are getting great exposure for adoptable animals today. Um, so this is a really, really important event, and it's an exciting one. That's Chachi. Chachi. Hi, Chachi. From Bark Shelter, and this is Mick Jagger from Bark Shelter. Mick Jagger. I have such a crush on you. My mother and father got a puppy, a black cocker spaniel, and they named her Wendy, and she used to sleep under my crib, and if ever I cried, she would howl, and my mom would come in and see what she wanted, and uh, that was a very close union, I felt. I wanted a dog. I begged and begged and begged, and I finally got one when I was nine years old from the Bayadui. Big part of the family and very yeah. important. Companion animals are called that for a reason. They're here just for us, and that's yeah. the only reason they're here. Uh, we're at Broadway Barks today, and uh, we're going to try to get some dogs and some cats adopted. It's a very special day. This has always been my dream. I've always wanted to be a part of Broadway Barks. So this was the first year that I was like, all right, look, we just won eight Tonys. Surely somebody's going to ask me to do Broadway Barks. So it's like the happiest day of my life. Yeah, I've had dogs, my, dogs and cats actually my whole life. I had pet rats. I mean, I've had just about any animal that I could bring home. Uh, but I also worked at a vet's office for quite some time, just sort of uh, assisting a vet tech uh, for our local vet in my hometown. So, yeah. I've seen the good, bad, and the ugly, but I think that's actually that's actually really important to know when you're adopting a dog is that it, they're they're very beautiful and they're very cute, but it's also a lot of work, and people need to know that before they take a dog because we don't want to get into a situation where you have return animals. It's just not a good situation. I can't imagine living without them. You know, it's just puts so many things in perspective and um, teaches us a kind of calm and 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 uh, that sense of responsibility you know we have children it's another thing with animals they are totally utterly dependent on you that are up for adoption. Without further ado, they're going to open the show from one man, two governors, we have the craze. Oh, she's got kills for miles on it, and they drive you in the bed. a shelter and save a dog's life. Just a, awakening the awareness of how many dogs and how many trustworthy and darling dogs there are and cats and rabbits available for adoption. She's a pride of mine, a pride. 